and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we're going to the most overpowered players in Madden 20 right now. Now, guys, the way I perceive and the way I go about doing this list is the coins don't really take a factor into this list because it's just going over the most overpowered players. Now, my overrated list does take into, a into account coins and stuff because that's obviously a big part of whether or not they're worth it. But this is just going over the best cards that you should be getting. Now, in my opinion, guys, starting from top to bottom, I do not do them in overall rating wise. Like, there'll be a 99 in like the five spot, like a 96 in the four spot. It really just depends on how these cards play, kind of how much the, you know, how much they stack up against other cards. And kind of my opinion. So let's get into the list, guys. If you're new to the channel, and for, for Madden tips, gameplays, and everything else that comes to Madden, make sure to be subscribed and turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's keep on growing. We want to get our channel as big as possible heading into Madden 21, so we can you know have our year going into then. So keep it up. Now, guys, to start with the player coming in at number 10 on the list. Now, this guy, I actually think I have almost every guy on this list. Or for the, oh, pretty much almost every guy on this list. Or I've at least had him. Now, coming in at number 10, wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. Calvin Johnson Jr. Going to come in at number 10 on the list. He has come down in price, guys, which is a real big benefit for you. Powered up and chemed up, guys. Calvin Johnson Jr. is literally a glitch. You get tight end strength and height with powered up chemed up, guys. He has 98 speed. You have Tyreek Hill speed with tight end height. With the catching of a god with great route running like Tory Holt. Overall, Calvin Johnson is just a stud, guys. I highly recommend if you guys don't have him, you go pick him up. And he's at a really great price right about now. Now, left us I'm back coming at number nine. This guy is a guy that I have not used yet, but I've heard some really great things about. TJ Watt. Now, remember, left us I'm back are very weak position right now. TJ Watt fully powered up and chemmed up. Gonna have a 99 finesse move. So 99 pass rushing, 99 play rec, great speed, great block chase. He's gonna be great in the run game, really tall, and he's gonna be one of the best pass. Oh, he's gonna be the best pass rusher in Madden because he has the 99, so he's gonna be tied for the best pass rusher. So not a bad price. You could probably even do his collection if you wanted to. That's just my recommendation. Now coming in at number four, three. I mean number seven. Sorry, reverse. This guy isn't actually available to be to get yet. You have to get him by doing the Deion Sanders set. Now, in my opinion, now this is not it. I'm just comparing him. So I have him over here powered up. Denzel Ward, 97 overall, powered up. Guys, Denzel Ward on my team with all the cams is 99 speed, 99 Excel, 99 agility, 99 man, 99 press. Do I gotta say more? That he has speed, athleticism, he's got he's got the height's decent. He's got everything you want in a cornerback. He's got the physicality, he's got the coverage. The zone's a little bit lower, but guys, that man press and speed, like you can blitz, like you can really really blitz with this guy. He does just so much speed on the field when you combine him with guys like Dion. I highly recommend you pick him up now to get him. Do the Dion Sanders set, get three cards back Nat, he will be one of them. Now coming number seven. Now this guy, the only issue with this guy, for the most part, is that it's his price, but again, I'm not gonna factor into it. Now again, from what I've learned while playing with other quarterbacks is that maybe the throw power stuff will hurt you. And Lamar Jackson coming number number seven on the list, sorry, Denzel Ward was eight by the way. Lamar number seven. Now I love Lamar Jackson, but playing with Mahomes has taught me a few things. I have been my playbook opened up a ton after playing with Mahomes. There's a lot of things I couldn't do before. Like I couldn't throw pa like certain passes. Like I'd see them open. There's a good window. I'd throw it and I'd get picked or swatted. I'm like I don't get it. Why can't I make that pass? And then I went to Mahomes and I can make that pass. And that's not because of accuracy. It's because of throw power, throw velocity. A lot of passes that like in older Maddens or even this Madden where I was like, oh, right, that's a good throw. Like what I know in my head, muscle memory, what I can throw. Lamar wouldn't get it there in time. So, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I miss the running ability of him and everything, but not running has really cut down on my fumbles a lot and increased a lot of, I've been passing a lot more. Lamar's still gonna be great, guys, but you have to wait for a series redux, in my opinion, even with, without taking coins into effect. He's still way too expensive to afford for the average player. Next, we're gonna be Patrick Mahomes 99. A lot of you guys probably have him from the set. I actually have two of him. I have two Nat Mahomes, so I gotta, I gotta do something with one of those. But Patrick Mahomes, guys, all three right here, all three of these clones. Super solid card, guys. Like I said, he can make any throw on the field. He can literally just dismantle defense. That's what I do. I just sit in the pocket, pocket, and dismantle defenses. Upgrade my line a little bit more, and trust me, will be even better. And even when you got to run, like when, and when the thing is, when you're dismantling them defensively, they're getting flustered. They're in a, they're playing every glitchy route you got, and that's when Mahomes breaks out that little escape artist, runs out the pocket, and gets a quick first down, and they start getting real flustered. I'm telling you, Mahomes can really break them down. The thing with Lamar is that if they can really shut down his run game, and you really can't run with him, and you're forced to pass. And if they can shut down your pass game too, like because like again, his passing, you can't hit every route with him. Although powered up and kept up on the new one, maybe you can almost get there. But again, if they start shutting down the run, I'm telling you, it gets very frustrating with Lamar very fast. Patrick Mahomes can throw every route. He even oh, he can overthrow cornerbacks to the point where only your receiver can get it. It's not even gonna be close. Trust me, guys. 
definitely worth the coins. Coming in at number, I believe we are at five now. Yes, we are. Coming in at number five, guys, this is one guy that I think might be one of the greatest defensive players I've ever used in Madden. Now, I'm not going to call him the best player on the list because, again, that's if you can't power him up, I get it. You got to power up this card to get the full effects of what he can do. Troy Palma for 244 k Going to be one of the best defensive cards I've ever played with in Madden 20 or in Madden in general. Fully powered up and kept up, guys, on my team. He gets to a 98 speed with John Madden and with, um, with Sprinter. His acceleration gets to a 98. His zone gets to almost a 99. His hit power gets to like a 94. His play rate gets to a 99. Guess that speed, tackle, excel, hit power, coverage, pursuit combo is unheard of. He gets crazy picks. He gets enforcer. He lays the boom, force a lot of fall, and he's all over the field. I'm no joke. He's like a little rat. He's literally everywhere on the field. Highly recommend if you guys have the coins. And it's pretty cheap. You go ahead and you go power him up. The only issue with getting Tripal Malo, by the way, He's going to be powering him up because his series redux card is needed in there, which usually goes for quite a bit of coins there, which is why I use my power passing him. Next on the list is going to be the man himself, Deion Sanders. Brand new, just came out 445k, not a bad price for him. All right, it's fully powered up and kept up on my team. Deion Sanders does have a 99 speed, 99 XL, 99 agility. And on my team, he gets to 90, 98, uh, 99 man. He gets close to 99 zone. I think he gets 98 zone. He gets like an 86 press as well as a 99. Almost everything's 99. So you gotta know almost everything is about 99 or and if it isn't it's like one stat off the most athletic card probably in madden 20 right now you gotta have him on your team you have him denzel ward and nitro lane you're gonna have a lockdown secondary now for, as far as nitro lane goes you probably want the next one which leads into our next player by the way which is a guy that i think everyone should have on their team just not yet he's a little too expensive but guys nitro lane coming at number four on the list slightly better than dion now why is he better than dion it comes down to a few things dion can't do everything he can do 99% of things, and the 1% he can't do can kind of hurt you in this year's Madden. This year's Madden's a run-heavy meta, a blitz-heavy meta, and the issue is you can't really blitz with Dion. You can blitz with Dion, but you can't press blitz with Dion, which press blitzing is even better because if you can jam with the receivers for even a half a second, that is enough time to get the uh, quarterback running away. Now, the issue with not press blitzing is that if they do quick little uh, slants and stuff and then get open, they can really burn you. And Dion, you can't press with. You can't because if you press with Dion, it's an auto-touchdown. Now, Night Train Lane, fully powered up and chemmed up. He will get to a 98 speed, which means there's only one speed less than Dion, a few Excel less than Dion, a few agility less than Dion, but he will have a better zone, similar man, but that press, he will get close to a 99 press, which will be the difference between a 99-yard touchdown and a sack. So, if you don't mind having Dion out of the 1 and 2, the best thing you could probably do is have Night Train Lane and Denzel Ward as your 1 and 2, fully powered up, and then put Dion as the third guy in the slot where he will excel completely, no matter who he's on. Probably the best but best idea with me. I'm stubborn. I keep Dion as my one, but still, that's not for guys who have a lot of coins. Don't really care where they put guys. Kind of really good idea to put Dion in the third slot and put the other two there, like the press guys as your one and two to lock down the receivers. Now going to number one and two. These remain unchanged in my opinion. Now these guys are all circumstantial. It's very preference based on who you end up wanting to go here. Now coming in at number two is going to be Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson, one of the best running backs in Madden 20. Fully powered up and chemed up, he will get to a 98 speed. Well, fully powered up. Came to, yeah, well, if you have John Madden, he gets a 99 speed. He will get close to 99 trucking, 99 carrying, as well as close to 97 excel. And break tackle close to like 97 also if you have zone run. And you have John Madden rushing on him. Super great running back. Can do everything. The only thing he can't do is really catch. And he's not exactly the most elusive back. But other than that, he's kind of the complete package. You guys already know about Eric Dickerson. Now, what's good about him is his NFL 100 freight train. But they did nerf it. So now... You can only have for like five plays. They were smart to do so though, because they do know that if they had released this Eric Dickerson with unlimited freight train, he would have broke Madden for the rest of the year. So kind of good thing they didn't do that and they made sure to make that fix. Cause it would have been insane if you could have Eric Dickerson with freight train the rest of the year. But coming to number one is the best player in Madden, in Madden, the best player in the NFL, probably the best running back in NFL history, Saquon Barkley. Coming to number one, 97 overall halfback Saquon Barkley, fully powered up and chemed up guys. He gets a 99 speed. He gets a 99 excel. He gets 99 agility. He gets 99 carrying, 82 catching, 99 break tackle. Guys, just look, 99 speed, 99 excel. What are the most important stats for running back, in my opinion? Speed, excel, agility, break tackle. Carrying's up there, but they still fumble anyways. But speed, excel, agility, break tackle. Right? That's like on the face card. 99, 99, 99, 99. And then, is it, and then what's nice to have as a compliment? Good catching, above 80. Good carry, 99. Good elusiveness, 95. Guys, this card is overpowered as hell. 
probably the best running back I've I've seen in quite a while at this point of Madden. Like in like at this they like, compared to other cards, you know what I'm saying? Like other years we've had better running backs at this time, but that was compared to a lot of other cards that were the same. He is far and away the best running back right there with Eric Dickerson, though. Eric Dickerson's not far behind, but besides them too, like they're far away from everyone else. These are the two running backs you want to be having right now. Saquon Barkley plays amazing, plays like a beast, super fast, super quick, can truck. He's the ultimate speed power catch combo now. And the thing is, finally, Madden's giving him his due diligence because in real life, that's what he is. He is the speed power combo, 230 pounds, that can run a 4 4. Like he's that level of athletic. And they have never they haven't shown in Madden yet, and they finally are. That's exactly how he plays in real life. Guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out all the other videos today. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.